Hi, I'm Campbell Barron on behalf of Levels Health, and this video is all about bioobservability. The very act of observing our bodies, making more informed decisions about food, sleep, and exercise, all to live a happier, healthier life. Before we talk about what bioobservability actually means, let's talk about aviation, and you'll see why I'm making this comparison in a sec. A significant reason why flying is one of the safest modes of transport relative to its complexity has to do with a different kind of observability, and that is observability of an aircraft. Take a large wide body, like this Airbus A380. Every A380 is equipped with as many as 25,000 sensors. The GE engines collect info at a rate of 5,000 data points per second, generating an average of 500 gigabytes of data per flight. Data that is used by the pilots to monitor the aircraft and react to and solve specific problems if needed. For example, if the cabin pressure changes, drop oxygen masks. Or if the aircraft is low on fuel, make an immediate landing. Data is what keeps this massive 617 ton Airbus A380 in the sky. But when it comes to data about something far more essential than an airplane, you, me, our body, we barely have any data to interpret the many tasks our body is performing. A pilot would never fly a plane with little to no data on their aircraft. And yet many humans live life without ever understanding what's actually going on in their body. Though many of you may be watching this video saying, well, what are you talking about, Campbell? I have a heart rate monitor, I'm tracking my sleep, I'm tracking my steps. And while those tools do help provide metrics about what's going on in your body, metrics alone aren't actually super helpful. So at the heart of bioobservability is the idea that control flows downstream from observability. And when I say observability, I'm referring to the following three pillars, metrics, logs, and traces. So let's start with metrics because they're actually the first indicator that acts as measurement for that point in time. The key thing to understand about metrics is that they don't actually tell you the root cause of the problem. Instead, they alert you that there is an actual problem with no context. For example, when your computer hard drive is at 98% telling you you're almost out of space, the storage metric isn't telling you why the computer's full. Instead, it's simply telling you it's full, leaving the discovery up to you. Now, the next key pillar in observability theory are logs. Unlike metrics, logs tell a more complete story pertaining to a specific event. And you could think about logs as discrete events that happen over time. For example, your heart rate increased or your glucose levels crashed. Referring back to our computer analogy, another example of logs may be event X caused application Y to crash. And the last key pillar in observability theory are called traces. Traces are a series of logs that in conjunction illuminate a cause and effect as it pertains to a specific event. In other words, an interconnected series of logs tells you the story of what happened. For example, several points of real-time glucose data showed me that I had a spike and a crash, which resulted in brain fog. Or referring back to our lovely computer analogy, a user opens application one, which causes application two to crash due to a lack of storage. In other words, X caused Y, which led to this bad outcome. But here's the problem. Most healthcare dollars today are optimizing for metrics. And that's a problem because more metrics don't tell you anything about cause and effect. More metrics simply inform you that a problem exists with no explanation for the root cause. And as a result, we need more logs to determine how our decisions affect our health. The future of healthcare requires this requires storytelling. It's crazy that an Airbus A380 has 25,000 sensors and most humans live their life with zero. And that is why having real-time continuous data illuminating what's actually happening inside our bodies, like glucose levels from a CGM, is so important. CGM used properly allows for massive discovery, closing the loop on your metabolic health. From the macro, a continuous glucose monitoring system ensures that you have the metrics, logs, and traces need to make more informed decisions to understand what your body is doing and most importantly, why it's doing it. When it comes to our metabolic health, we need to take inspiration from the sky. I'm Campbell Barron for Levels Health. Thank you for watching.